In this video, I will show you how you can become more productive when coding in Python by selecting the correct Python interpreter in Visual Studio Code. And this is the plan. I will first show you live before and after configuring the correct Python interpreter in VS Code. And then we will install uh, the Python extension in VS Code to get uh, a better experience writing Python code. And I will show you what I mean by configuring uh, the correct Python interpreter. Essentially, we are doing three things. We create a virtual environment. We install our project dependencies like scikit-learn, pandas uh, inside this virtual environment. And then we tell our IDE about this virtual environment. And you would do this for each Python project that you have so that each environment and each project is independent of each other. And what you install in one virtual environment will not pollute or affect the virtual environment in another project. If you'd like to code along, you can check out this repo, uh, Docker Python template. And for the purposes of this video, you can skip the bits about Docker and Jupyter and just jump straight into this shell script. I will show you what is inside here in a bit. So let's see what life is like before we configure our IDE. Let's say I wanted to use a function inside a Python package inside here. I would have no idea what is available for me. I would have to jump to a web browser and search through the documentation to find out what I can use. And let's say I figure out that this is the method I wanted. I, have, I would have no idea what I can pass into it, how I can use it. Again, I would have to jump to the browser to look up documentation. So this interrupts my workflow and I am not able to focus on the problem I'm trying to solve. So let's configure our IDE and see how um, awesome life can be when we've done that. So let's install the Python extension in VS Code and then configure our Python interpreter. To install the Python extension, you want to press F1 to open what they call the command palette and search for install extensions. We're going to look for Python. And this is the official uh, Python extension with a lot of downloads, a lot of stars. It looks legit, so we'll install that. And this will give your uh, IDE capabilities around linting, IntelliSense, autocomplete, formatting, this and that, which I will cover in detail in other videos. But this extension is required uh, before we can configure any of those other things. So it's prompting me to reload my ID. I'll do that. And when that's done, if you open any Python file, you will notice that um, there's now this Python tab here. And also you might see it downloading some things. If you're seeing that, give that time to let it finish. And now that's done. The next thing we'll do is to configure our Python interpreter. The first thing I want to do is to create a virtual environment. And in this repo, I have a script called install dependencies locally that the command can be found. So let's run this command. And what that will do is to create a directory called .vnv, and that's where the virtual that's the virtual environment for this project. Here, I'm assuming that you have Python three uh, installed. So if you don't, you can install that for your operating system using Homebrew, Chocolatey, or uh, the Linux uh, package manager. So we've done that. And we're going to install dependencies in this virtual environment. First, we activate the virtual environment. So you see this. And we install the dependencies in this virtual environment. If you're using Anaconda, then you would run conda create instead of pip install requirements. And the last step now is to tell our IDE about this virtual environment. And we can do that in two ways. First, either by clicking here and then giving the path to your virtual environment, which is in your current directory, bin python. So either you click here, or another way is to again open the command palette, hit F1, and you can say select interpreter. We do the same thing here. And once we've done that, we can start using uh, IntelliSense and autocomplete. So what do I mean by that? You can start typing code and your ID will start making helpful suggestions about what's possible. And it will also show you hints or IntelliSense to tell you what you can pass into this function. And it will even show you uh, documentation with some examples. Okay, so this is how I can use this function why true is an array, why pred is another array. And now I no longer have to jump to another browser and, and interrupt my flow of development. 
If you are following along and you're not seeing these uh, type hints, it might just be that your IDE is taking time to download and configure the extensions. So uh, just give it some time, maybe try restarting your IDE. And this will help you become more productive when you're working in a large code base. You're solving the problems you want to solve and you don't want to be distracted by you know, jumping around browsers and tabs. So if you have a you know, machine learning model that you're tra training, and let's say you wanted to rename something in the data frame, right? You don't know what the contract of this function is. You don't know what to pass in. You simply you know, call the function and look inside here in the documentation in your IDE and you can already see how you can use this without having to get distracted by jumping around. And with this, um, you can become more productive as a data scientist.